close free press sports writers Dave Burkett and Carlos Menares on what the Detroit Lions should get for Christmas. Dave Burkett slash Carlos Menares Every time I look at the Detroit Lions defensive stats, I don't believe them. The Lions rank 27th overall in defense. Or to put it another way, they are the NFL's sixth worst defense. Does that sound right to anyone? The Lions are have held opponents to 20 or fewer points five times this season, including the mighty Pittsburgh Steelers and Minnesota Vikings. Their star cornerback, Darius Slay, leads the NFL with seven interceptions. Their 27 takeaways are third most in the NFL but the defense is the sixth worst in the league. Does that sound right? Time after time, it has seemed this season the defense has bailed out the Lions with a timely takeaway that has given quarterback Matthew Stafford and the offense another shot at a comeback, an offense, whose 21 giveaways are tied for ninth most in the NFL Lions S. Glover Quinn celebrates his tackle on Bears air bait Hart Cohen during the second quarter of the Lions 20-10 win on Saturday, December 16, 2017, at Ford Field. Photo, Kurthmana, Dozier. Detroit Free Press if there's a reason to hope beyond this season, a reason to possibly get excited about the Lions' potential, that reason has to be the defense. Okay, all you haters out there. I can hear what you're saying. The Lions' defense gave up 52 points to the New Orleans Saints and 44 points to the Baltimore Ravens, true. And the Denver Broncos' top-ranked defense gave up 92 points in consecutive weeks. No defense is flawless all season. Wow, I can still hear you haters chirping. Will anything make you happy? What about the defense's 10 men on the field, you ask? Followed by 9 men on the field in the next week. More on Lions' defense. Yes, that's hard to excuse. But those flubs came against the Vikings, the biggest surprise team of this NFL season, and against savvy Super Bowl champion quarterback Joe Flacco. It's a bad look, but not really an uncommon one. NFL offenses are constantly trying to create mismatches and keep defenses off balance. And teams with smart QBs, like Stafford, are good at snapping the ball when there are too many or too few players on defense. So save your breath, haters. Instead, trust your eyes and your gut, which should tell you that you have a lot more confidence in the defense than you do in the offense. I think that confidence comes from the defense's ability to correct its mistakes. Remember the much maligned run defense that was shredded for 423 rushing yards in back-to-back -back games against Cleveland and Chicago in November? The Lions haven't allowed a 100-yard rusher since then and rank 16th against the run which is a number that sounds reasonable. More Lions news, Glover Quinn irked at Pro Bowl voting after snub Lions vs. Bengals Pitts NFL's two worst rushing teams remember how the Saints were up, 45-10, in the third quarter and how a Miles Killebrew forced fumble, a three and out by the defense and an A. Sean Robinson pick six helped the Lions cut the deficit to seven late in the fourth quarter before Stafford effectively ended the game with two straight interceptions. Our guys, defensive coordinator Tara Lawson said Thursday, they're resilient, they fight, they don't care about the situation in terms of it may look bleak and it may it look bad, but our guys will fight through things, and I think you see that with how our guys play hard. We get after the ball, and I think the one thing our guys do do well is we turn the ball over, and I think that's something that's very important for us. We've played fairly well on third down. So, we've got some things that we've done well. We obviously know there's lots of areas to improve, but that's the same every year. So, I think if you're looking at us, I think we're a resilient bunch, we're a proud bunch, and we're going to fight. I agree with Austin, resiliency is huge, but it's even more than that. It's the way no one talks about poor tackling anymore. Watching the Buccaneers whip all over the place was a reminder of the Lions' dark, bad pad level days. Lions defensive tackle Akeem Spence celebrates a defensive play against the Bears during the second half at Ford Field on December 16, 2017. Photo, Gregory Sheamus, Getty Images and it's also Austin, himself who has gotten the most out of players not named Ziggy Ansah. When starting safety Tavon Wilson was lost in November, nickel cornerback Quandre Dix made the seamless switch to replace Wilson. When rookie linebacker Jared Davis struggled in dime package pass coverage, Austin wasn't big-headed and took him off the field in favor of veteran Tahir Whitehead. The only pro bowler on the team is Slay, who has turned into one of the league's elite cover men, and constantly underrated safety Glover Quinn is even a better player than Slay. As I stood in the middle of the locker room Thursday, I watched about seven or eight defensive backs huddled around the locker. There was some kind of joke going 
on, Nevin Lawson was doing a funny dance and they all were laughing. All I could think of was this was part of a group that had five takeaways in Tampa two weeks ago, and last week picked off Mitchell Trubisky three times and held Jordan Howard to 37 rushing yards. This was one of the worst defenses in the NFL? I just don't believe it. Contact Carlos Menares. Monarez at FreePress.com. Follow him on Twitter at Monarez. Download our free Lions Extra app on your Apple and Android.